So as a fresher, I was getting very low salary, around fifteen thousand per month. So friends, welcome back to our channel, Learn with Gigs. In this video, I have invited Bunty Patil, who recently has cracked the job of a data analyst. Most importantly, as a fresher in data analytics. After ten months of consistent hard work, his journey is really inspiring and motivating. So do watch this video completely till the end. And also, friends, do congratulate him in the comment box as he really deserves the appreciation for his hard work. And also, do like this video as it really motivates me. And please subscribe to the channel if you are new to it. And you can also follow me on Instagram, Learn with Gigs. Hello, Bunty. Thank you so much for taking out your time and coming out to this channel. So, firstly, can you introduce yourself to the audience? So, first of all, thank you, sir, for giving me this opportunity. opportunity uh, my whole data analytics journey started by watching your videos on youtube and today i am proud that i am featuring on your youtube channel speaking about myself my name is bunty patil i am born and brought up in surat gujarat i completed my schooling from uh, surat itself and i completed my graduation also uh, in chemical engineering domain uh, in year 2022 so how was your placement uh, during your final year in 2022 so basically uh, in by, uh, during completing my graduation our two years uh, was uh, online lectures due to covid so no companies came due because of the covid in our college so we didn't get get the placement uh, from the college so what did you do after your like once you passed out from your college how was your journey after that so basically i completed my graduation in july 2022 so uh, i started focusing on my chemical engineering subjects i started preparing for it uh, i started preparing for the interviews and uh, all the knowledge that i can get from uh, youtubes and all that i uh, appeared for a walk in interview in uh, october 2022 and joined the uh, alembic pharmaceutical limited in uh, vadodara as a chemi uh, chemical engineering uh, production executive so till how much time you worked in that company uh, so i worked for uh, one year in that company from november 2022 to mid of december 2023 and how much you were getting paid there as a chemical engineer so as a fresher uh, i was getting very low salary around 15000 per month and what was the reason of your resignation from your last company because you resigned in december right so what was the reason behind it so during my this professional journey in alembic uh, the job was very hectic i was having a uh, shift there uh, for 2 to 2 days and uh, if my reliever was absent is absent or was absent i have to do 16 hours of shift so the work life balance was not at all there also i was not interested i was not uh, getting my mind ready for that job so i uh, decided to leave that job and also i uh, developed my passion over there in data analytics in december 2023 i decided to uh, fully focus in this field Uh, data analytics field and that's why i left the job there so how did you got interest in data analytics so my elder brother is in it profession so i talked with him he gave me some uh, different ideas for the field like uh, data analytics digital marketing so i started exploring the those fields on youtube i watched your view, uh, youtube videos also and i started uh, my data analytics journey by joining the course Uh, on coursera of google professional data analytics course so uh, what 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 was the cost of this coursera google data analytics course that you said basically there are eight parts in that course uh, per part it cost around 1000 uh, rupees i think but we can apply for the financial aid in that course and we can get the, those course for free i got uh, last two parts uh, i paid around 500 to 600 and overall i completed that course in 500 to 600 uh, so friends you can listen from bunty so if you are going for a coursera data analytics course so you can also uh, apply for financial aid and you can get the course for free also or or at a very minimal cost what exactly you covered in that course what all skills you learned there so uh, basically there was a spreadsheet a tableau and bigquery bigquery is the cloud uh, platform for google itself so you covered three skills spreadsheets tableau and uh, a bigquery apart from that what about other skills as a data analyst which are also very important how did you learn them and what resources you followed so for my sql and python i explored it on uh, youtube itself there are many free resources available after getting the basic knowledge in my sql and python i started applying for the jobs i got the uh, job uh, uh, call from my basic uh, location but I, when i appeared for that job 
I faced the rejection because I was not much prepared. Then I got the self-realization that I have to develop my skills in more in this field. So I opted for the Code Basics course. Okay, so you started with Coursera, then you went to YouTube, and then finally you went for Code Basics. Okay, now let's focus on your resume. How did you design your resume, which actually helped you to get shortlisted at your current company? Okay, so this is my one-page resume. Here I have mentioned my name and the Google Certified Data Analyst as I have completed the course uh, from Coursera. Here you can mention your phone number, Gmail ID, and LinkedIn uh, embedded link. And, uh, we should not mention the whole link here itself. We can embed the link here and the GitHub profile link. At below, I have added my education section. Here I have added the experience section. I have completed the two uh, internships from Cognifies Technologies and Unified Mentor. This was the virtual internship. They charge around uh, two, 300 to 400 rupees for the certification. Okay, so this is a new thing. So you did the internship, virtual internship from this particular company and you paid 300 to 400 rupees to get the internship. Uh, can you tell what, what exactly it is in detail? When I talk about this unified mentor, they charge around me 300 rupees for three months of internship. Uh, they gave me the data set to complete. Uh, when I submit the these pro projects, they uh, provide me the certification link. This we have to totally do by ourselves. Uh, we can use any tool. Do you think it is it worth, worth to uh, do this kind of internship because you've already got a job now? So it is optional if if we don't have any projects uh, in our resume, so we can opt for it. Uh, but I would suggest to go for the offline internship from where we can uh, work in the team or in a company for, and we can gain a valuable experience from there. Okay, so after that, you have also mentioned about your one year of experience as chemical engineering, right? So that is completely yes. non-technical, I would say, right? And not related to data analytics. So that also you have mentioned. So that is a good point that if you have some kind of experience in the past, you can mention it and uh, showcase that to the recruiter that you had some experience. And But after that, you have completely transitioned to the data analytics and you are upskilling yourself consistently after that. So that's a good point. And here I have mentioned my two projects. Uh, first one is Business Insights 360 project. And here I have mentioned the domain of the project. Uh, and the tools I have used in this project. Here I have uh, embedded the link for my GitHub uh, repo, pre uh, my presentation video, which I uploaded on LinkedIn and the live dashboard. Yeah, yeah, that's a very good point. So presentation video to showcase your presentation skills, live dashboard so that the recruiter can directly interact with the live dashboard that you have created. Right. So all the links are very important to be attached if you are giving and providing details of any kind of project. Also, I can see in the next section you have uh, mentioned about Excel project. So overall, you have mentioned only yes, two sir. projects. One project you very yes, utilized, as I can see, Power BI, SQL, Excel, all three skills, and one project completely on Excel. Right, sir. So overall, how much yes. was the ATS score of this resume? The ATS score of this resume was 90. So, Bhanti, now let's uh, discuss how did you get the interview call of the current company in which you are working? So I got the interview call from my Nokri profile. I have kept updated my Nokri profile every time. I, if I completed a project, I uploaded it on Nokri.com. So keeping a Nokri.com profile up to date is also an important point. So what particular strategy you think uh, that actually helped you to get this interview call? The one point I should I would like to mention is the uh, location preference. I had mentioned the uh, first I have mentioned the nearby locations of my uh, city like Ahmedabad, Surat itself. And then the, I mentioned the metro cities like Pune, Hyderabad and Bangalore. So this uh, job opportunity has helped me uh, by getting this call by location preference. Of course, so that's a very good point. So if you are a fresher or a person with a career gap, don't directly focus on metro cities. Okay, you can also focus yes. tie to cities also or the nearby cities also. And it, it helped uh, Bunty as you can hear from him. So Bunty, as a fresher, how many interview calls you faced till date, like before joining this company? Because we normally see that there are very limited opportunities for freshers. But how was your experience for the number of calls? So uh, before joining this job, I got three calls. In first two uh, opportunities, I faced the rejection. And in third opportunity, I was I cleared all the round. But due to some company policy, I was unable to join there. So overall, four interview calls you attended during your entire job search journey. So people can hear from Bundy's journey that yes, calls are limited. That's a fact. 
but whatever number of calls you are getting you should give your best in that so that you get selected the way Bunty has that in a limited number of calls only he got selected as a data analyst so Bunty now let's discuss uh, about how was your interview experience in your current, current company what all skills they targeted and how many interview, interview rounds happened uh, interviewer called me by reviewing my uh, resume from Nokri profile he discussed the opportunity with me uh, like it was a telephonic communication he asked about my skills uh, uh, he asked about the tools which i know in the data analytics so he said schedule the interview for the next day the next day uh, i was having a technical interview uh, one on one so they asked me questions based on uh, excel like we look up and other uh, uh, formulas like if max they ask the questions uh, like, uh, like behavioral questions uh, for example like they asked uh, if i am working in a team and due to some member we are not able to complete the task before the deadline or on the deadline so how how would be your approach in that matter they also asked uh, some basic questions on sql and uh, power bi okay now let's talk about the salary part bunty so as a fresher how much salary a data analyst can expect right now in the market so as a fresher uh, one can expect around 3.5 to 5 lpa and sir i want to add one more point uh, today whatever i achieved is because of my family and my elder brother they supported me every time every day uh, in this data analytics journey they never questioned me this is the very important point uh, if someone is switching uh, a career from non tech background or any background to data analytics yeah that's a very good point the support from the family plays a very important role and that's what actually helped you so so thank you so much bunty for sharing your journey and all the important points definitely people will get a lot of insights from your journey thank you for having me